So RB Leipzig with something to smile about. If I look at their squad, they're one of those teams who should be genuinely competing with Bayern Munich for talent. They have such a good feeder system. I mean, taking players from um, Red Bull Salzburg in Austria and bringing them to RB Leipzig, such a good uh, transition for them. But Wepia Butugu is joining us. Wepia, let's talk about the Dutch Pokal. Um, Leipzig winning it against Frankfurt. Frankfurt have had a quality season. Remember, they were in the Europa League final last yeah. year. They followed it up with another cup final. Just snap thoughts on this one. Yeah, I think, um, like you mentioned, uh, Leipzig have just been always in and around it in terms of the Bundesliga. And it's, I'm sure it's a good you know, point for their higher-ups that they've started adding silverware to it because we know how difficult it is to actually mm -hmm. win silverware in Germany. Mm -hmm. But winning the uh, Pokal back-to-back, -back, it helps you to attract players because they're looking at all these, like you're saying, young players who are coming through mm -hmm. from clubs who want to make it to yeah. you know, the eventual elite level. Yeah. Okay, yes, I'll get a few years of development, but I also want to add some trophies to my resume. So for them to be doing this on a semi-regular basis, it does make them a more attractive destination. And I'm sure we'll see them make some interesting moves over the summer they should make interesting moves i mean how do they go to the next level as a club like you mentioned they they will they've always attracted good players they apparently wanted our own come out and he opted for southampton how did they take it up the next level after winning back-to-back -back cup titles i think it's uh, they have to focus on keeping some of their players uh, if you know remember benjamin sesco he had yeah. his, he's going from Salzburg to leipzig this yeah. summer so we'll see him in the Bundesliga. I was actually mm -hmm. surprised mm -hmm. Erling Haaland didn't go to Leipzig. Mm. That's one thing I expected because he was at Red Bull yeah. Salzburg. Yeah. Dortmund, to, Dortmund, Dortmund make Asia. a good bid for a lot of those players as well. Exactly. Remember Adeyemi also made the move exactly. to yeah. Dortmund so, instead of Zaus, yeah. uh, so, to Leipzig. Yeah. I think they, they have an eye for talent. Mm -hmm. They know what they mm -hmm. want to do. But I think they are also not ready to spend the money to compete at the top level. I think eventually when they start deciding that they are ready to make that investment the, the, and come... Because I think are they just they about old? selling their first big money player? But is, I, it, is, it, is it Kunku go to Chelsea settled? Yeah. Yes, it was agreed then, then, last then I think that's their first really big money sale. But even then, the players who they have quality, they let them go. We saw Timo Werner go. Yeah. I think Timo Werner yeah. was there, right? Yeah, he was alive. Too. So they have some players they let come and go. I think part of it is they are owned by the Red Bull group. So I think mm -hmm. when the Red Bull group decides to... They want to spend that money. Yeah. They want to kind of invest yeah. and start winning trophies. Yeah. They have Tyler Adams I, as well. I, I believe. Exactly. Yeah, I think. Point, I think. Yeah. I think they have the financial muscle to do it if they want to. Mm -hmm. I think it's a question of if, a uh, question of when rather than if. Sorry, mm. let me see. So I think they just have to make up their mind that they want to win trophies. Yeah. They want to compete with Bayern Munich every year, and it will happen. So. I'm not too concerned. I know they are building something very slowly. Mm -hmm. If they can keep some of their players. So if think about Josko Vardio. Yeah. We're talking about him as the best defender at the World Cup and stuff. There's a lot of talented pieces in there. 20 years old. So I'm, I'm not I, I feel like he's about, about to break the record for the most expensive defender. If anybody mm -hmm. goes in for him, they are charging top money for that. I, I remember them quoting 70 million or 80 million when Chelsea went around him. Mm -hmm. Eventually, the interest could. They ended up with Badia Shilly. But I, I, I feel like Vardio is on the brink of a move very soon so that's the leipzig story really a lot of promise a lot of interesting talent in there they've turned it into two cup titles they have a league to challenge for help us not make it the farmers league please let's move on to something else and let's talk about the french league ah